Oh my god, I look like a fucking tomato. Uh, I was I've been out in the sun all day. So, uh, Fantard here, gonna give a review for RE Zero episode twenty. And this episode, what it really comes down to is action, execution, and a little bit of backstory. And it flows really, really well in this episode. The White Whale versus Subaru and the troops. The action's just amazing. The music on point. The the strategy it takes to take on the white well was really well thought out. Obviously, you know, when you have the when you have the one up on someone, when you have preparation, it obviously shows how strong people can be when they come together in a unit. And it's like just amazing to watch Subaru, you know, doing the first shot with Ram. And then you got Crush calling the shots, man. They have like this high tech magic where everyone like puts their magic and it shoots like freaking laser beams, like old school Godzilla when they would shoot him with those plasma cannons. It looked freaking awesome. And Wilhelm, my god, Wilhelm's a fucking animal. He's like slicing up the well, man. He's going ham all crazy. Oh man, he chops my bad. And the. The design for the well, it looks really cool when you see it in light. You know, he really is a white well. You know, in the past episode, like, I was thinking, man, this this uh, this well looks pretty grayish. She doesn't look really whitish. But full-on albino-looking well. Straight out of a fairy tale. And this, this whole battle, it's just, it really sucks you in. It's just, the execution is on point. You know, we all know about story. We all know about uh, character development. But then it comes down to action and putting all the other parts of the story into play and making the action looks amazing with all this execution, the strategy, uh, the dire situations that people end up becoming in towards uh, this part of the episode. But man, here's the thing. The White Will is not someone to take lightly, obviously, we know that. And at first you initially think that they're gonna take him out easily because that always happens when someone is prepared and has good uh, preparation going into the fights they always come up like on top initially at first but as the fight goes along you start to see who truly is a stronger character and obviously that's the white will because he starts using more of his power by like he opens up like these like these holes on uh, its body where all its wounds are sliced up from freaking Wilhelm chopping it up everyone else chopping it up and he, he uses his fog and he spreads out all the troops so now we know um, how uh, we find out how a character is forgotten and he uses his fog like super calls it of extermination if you get taken out by that fog your memories are uh, uh, memories of you are wiped out your existence is taken out so and he takes like a, a pretty much takes out a whole platoon and it looks freaking awesome man like he it sounds like you're like you're hearing a predator taking out its prey when you put out its fog and like it's killing all the the the, the troops and you can hear the background, and you're like, man, this white whale is freaking badass. And then Crush, man, she, she stepped up her game, or she's showing her what she's really capable with that damn sword. It's able to freaking slice and dice, and it has like no limit to how far it can slice. And it's like freaking amazing. It clears the fog away. But here's the thing, they're in a pickle, and they can't seem to find where the whale's going to attack now that it's stuck in the fog. So that's when Subaru decides to pull out his trump card so to say and he uh, in order for him to get the well to come out he says oh, what his power is about him coming back from the dead and as he does that you see a freaking a beautiful face with like lipstick start talking to him and I'm pretty sure it's the witch I, I check I tried watching the episode like I tried rewinding that a couple times and I'm like oh what is she what is she saying it's like let go or go on I don't know what she said but it looks pretty interesting I'm like oh, what are you saying what was, I'm pretty sure that was Satella, if we're going by what we know so far. So anyway, Subaru is able to lead the well out, and they continue battling, and man, <sighs> Wilhelm takes the freaking whale's eye out. And then comes the next thing, is that the well, like, its eye goes all hardcore. And a couple of minutes before that, before he had taken out his eye, the whale was making this nasty scream, and everyone was going crazy. And, and here's another uh, sign to Subaru and his backstory, and what his kind of power is, or what his ties are to the to the whale, or anything to the witch, is that he's not affected by this scream at all. 
Rem, even Rem and Crush, who are stronger characters, are are affected to, affected by it at some point, uh, to a certain extent. But Subaru is like, this isn't affecting me at all. So I'm like, that's a clue to what his power is, or to what his backstory is, or what Subaru is. Now, uh, as it, as it leads further on into the story, we all, we get some backstory between for Wilhelm. It's basically like a Wilhelm backstory for him on how he met his wife and how it shows how he's like kind of a a hard nose hard nosed old style dude who's like all about the men protecting the women and he didn't he didn't like that apparently how she didn't tell him how he was a sword master because he ends up getting surprised by her saving his life by being all badass and killing all the rest of the army because he was about to be killed in a flashback when he was battling but then when he finds out that she's a sword master he gets pissed off that she didn't tell him or like he was embarrassed and so she it was like the dynamic between them is really interesting she's all nice and caring but she's a badass and he tries he is a badass but he's like really stubborn and hard nosed and we only get like little clips of of them interacting together and it's a really cute little bond that you can tell is probably going to grow uh later on as they continue to show their flashbacks but here's what's interesting to me is that when they were getting the white well down at the very end when Subaru got uh, when everyone else got the white well done, it was falling down because Subaru was able to lead it out, lead it out of the fog. Uh, you see a little daisy right next to Wilhelm, and it pops up, and I'm like, is that some kind of foreshadowing for something? Is that a meaning? Maybe his wife might be alive somehow. I, I just have like these thoughts in my head as, and then the white well comes and freaking eats him, swallows him home. You don't see any blood though. You don't see blood. You, he swallows him. Or the well swallows Wilhelm, and you start to wonder, like, that's probably how he took out the, the Master Swordman, because we were able to remember the Swordman, as opposed to taking out the Fog style, we won't remember them. Now, here's the mind blow, is that, uh, here's what I thought would happen. That screech earlier, when the well was screaming like crazy, and everyone was losing their minds, well, to them, that was an attack. But I think that was uh, the well calling for help, for some kind of backup. Because towards the end, we see at least three more white whales. And they're in the air and they're circling around. One whale was bad enough. One whale was taking them out too. Was giving them a big time trouble. Three whales, there's no way they're going to win. Now, here's the thing. Here goes theory time. Uh, are all these whale gluttony? Like, we know that uh, Puck had called the white whale gluttony. Uh, which one is gluttony? Are they all called gluttony is there one person who is gluttony and he controls the white whale is that how this works that's how i see this certain theory some things to think about and another theory is like i wonder if like the master swordman might have something to do with the white whale i'm i'm not so sure if she's still dead like i don't know because the fact that the daisy was there like at the last minute right before wilhelm gets swallowed you start to think Maybe she's alive, and maybe the white whale is actually like getting Wilhelm and taking him somewhere. I'm not exactly sure, but there's got to be something more to this to this swordsman because this swordsman seems this master swordsman. I really like her, and she's really interesting. And I'm not so sure if she's dead. Those are my thoughts. Those are my theories. Uh, are all these whales gluttony? Are they controlled by one one person, one sin, possibly? Uh, Subaru. The more and more that he talks about the witch, are we going to start to see? We're obviously going to see more of the witch in a little bit because we saw her face, just the lower half, and it won't be long before we start to see her whole body or maybe in a flashback. I'm really excited. Uh, as this episode goes, I'll give it a 4 out of 5 star. Great battle episode, great execution, little bits and pieces of uh, plot progression. Really loved it. Uh, that's it for the fan I'm out.